Researchers have discovered a new deadly threat to the nation's honeybee population. The term zombies has been coined to describe the devastating effect the new parasite has on the bee. A tiny forehead fly preys on the much larger animal. They pierce it with a hypodermic needle-like ovipositor, inject eggs inside it. Those eggs hatch into little maggots that then eventually crawl up into the thorax of the bee where the meat is. It takes only seconds for the flies to sign the bee's death warrant. The condition came to light because infested bees were leaving the hive at night, flying to nearby lights and falling to the ground and dying. Healthy bees don't leave a hive at night because they can't navigate in the dark and don't survive in the cold night temperatures. That's sort of when we started ta to terming them zombies or zombie bees because they were literally on a flight of the living dead. Afrenik set up a website where beekeepers, researchers and citizen scientists could help track the spread of affected bees. Some observers reported front yards littered with bee carcasses all from the parasite. We started asking questions about whether maybe this parasite was manipulating the, the honeybee to get it to fly away for the good of the parasite or whether the honeybee might be committing altruistic suicide. Beehives are also facing other threats from all directions. Viruses, pesticides, mites, and now the forward fly. There are enough uh, impacts on the bees that if everything takes 15% of the population away, then pretty soon you're left with a very dismal population and they can't survive. And with billions of dollars of agricultural crop pollination at stake, farmers can't afford another deadly infestation for beehives. Tom Ritchie, Associated Press.